Well, hello there, YouTube. Holy moly. Look at this. It's been doing this since we got up this morning. The low temperature last night was 33 degrees. The temperature right now is 33 degrees. And it hasn't stopped snowing like this since, I don't know, 7 or 8 this morning. First time I noticed it. When I got up, I looked out the window. Whoa, Kelly, it's snowing. She goes, yeah, it's been snowing all morning. So who knows when she got up. But at 33 degrees, it is just not sticking. It gets wider at points. When it gets that real slow, heavy, slow-moving flakes. But you can see it's just not freezing. So it's got an umbrella out here. Pardon the waving around. I'm trying to keep from hitting trees and knocking the camera out of my hand. See, umbrella. It's an old fox one. <laughs> Had this thing for a hundred years, it seems like. It literally, probably 15 or more years. Jeez, that's back at the old, old Longview store. It could be close to 20 years by now. How long have I been there? Almost 24. But yeah, this is the way it's been this morning. She's just been away laying. Just, you would think it would stick at some point. It's pretty though. Yeah, the, the roof was completely white earlier. So uh, even though the temperature hasn't changed, it's like changed, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Could just be the wetness of the snow. It might be getting wetter as the mornings come along. I can see it starting to stick in the pine trees over there. It was probably a lot fluffier before, but I haven't, didn't come out this far and look. Anyway, welcome to Sunday. It's supposed to do, the weather says it's supposed to do this until 7 p.m. tonight. So there we are. There's our weather forecast. I don't think there'll be any motorcycle rides today, huh? Probably not. So it's 2 o'clock. It's warmed up to 37 degrees. Or it's bouncing between 36, 37. We'll just call it 37. Stop snowing. Um, when the snow stopped and the temperature went up, man, that, that slush melted so fast and just woof, it was gone. But anyway, I'm going to go to Home Depot. Kelly's going to play with her. She goes, that uses up my whole day going there. <laughs> she goes, I got some craft stuff I want to do. So she's going to do that. And I'm going to go look at those uh, DeWalt um, tough, tough box or whatever they're called, 2.0 for uh, putting my RC car stuff on instead of having, you know, tubs laying all around. It's using up all my space for for working on my RC car. So I'm going to go, go look at those boxes. I like the Milwaukee's, but if you're carrying them in your car, they're very bright and red and crazy expensive. They're like half again more expensive. But I'll look at those too and see if it's worth the... That was a quail that just took off. See if they're worth the extra price, but get some of this stuff organized. Plus... It rolls like a, you know, like a hand dolly. So that makes it nice for going whatever. And they're big enough, you could even stick a car in there if you organized it right. But let's go. Let's go to Home Depot. Good old. <laughs> I can't turn around far enough. But I got the, the three-piece thing, the lower, the mid one, and then the, I think a lot of people call it the suitcase at the top. And uh, that'll, that'll get me covered. And more stuff in there than that you know what you do and the old saying when you get a tool, bigger toolbox can't speak uh, you end up getting more tools i <laughs> hope that's not the case but it'll clear off kelly's little little nook there i got 90 percent of that stuff off of there that'll, that'll be nice but uh let's head for the head for the hacienda danny act like i was gone for a hundred years yeah are you happy to see me just trying to crawl in the car and everything? That's what I bought. The, this is the one that has the dolly attached to it, basically. That's the mid-box and the top box. I had another one that was kind of clear and had a bunch of trays in the top of it. and I don't know. I decided not on that. That'll pack a bunch of stuff right there. A whole bunch of stuff. While it's empty, it's actually really light. <laughs> But uh, she'll pack some. She'll pack some meat. All right, get in here and organize. See what the mama's up to. Man, those 
do all tool chest things, whatever you want to call them. Tough box, I think, or whatever you call them. Tough storage. They got a name for them. Anyway, man, I, you know, it's funny how you look at something and in your mind you're thinking of how big this little plastic tub is that I got. Well, oddly enough, I got that at Home Depot too. So I got a bunch of stuff in. Well, it's just, it's gotten full and it's kind of disorganized. And, and so, you know, I don't put stuff in there because it just gets worse. And um, I thought, man, he goes, I, I don't even know if this is as big as that tub, you know. So I ended up getting the, the middle one and then the, what they call it, suitcase on the top. And, um, yeah, that's, there's a lot of room there. It's huge. By the time you get stuff in there, it'll be heavy as heck. But you, you see what people carry in those things. It's, there's a lot of stuff they pack around. See Danny moseying his way over here. But, um, yeah, those will work out great. So, in lieu of the, uh, upcoming Red Cat TC8 Marksman that's, that's showing up, I thought I'd bring the old Gen 8 out here. So I, I go and pull this thing out, and the tires, you know how my Gen 9, the tires are blue? They're literally blue. And I'm going, what's going on? You know, first thing, because if you guys ever had stuff, rubber and things like that get exposed to moisture, that's a sign, I don't know if that's mold or what it is, but, you know, it can turn that kind of a blue color. Throw some light on here. This may make it worse or, or better. I'm not sure. But um, so both of those tires are Proline um, BF Goodrich KM3s. Both of them are the, um, the uh, what do they call it, the G8 compound, the harder compound of the two. And um, but, and they're the same. The, this Gen 8 is the same as the Gen 9. They're just blue. So with the Gen 9, when I was out here, I don't know, last week or week four, whatever it was, and I was talking about the tires being blue, um, so I took it in and I just pulled the wheels off and and uh, just wiped them down with some WD-40 on a on a microfiber, just spray it on a microfiber and lightly wipe it. Well, it just, boom, just absorbed the WD-40. I mean, it's going on wet, and you can just sit there and watch it. It's like water evaporating. I'm going, holy moly. These tires are dr just nudged. I think it, does the Red Cats have a timeout thing? No. But, um, so anyway, um, I pull this out and I, I'm, you know, pulling the, the, you know, check the battery and see if I need to, you know, is it, is it one that's too low to run? It still has a, enough juice to go out here and play around. I don't burn much on them. But um, anyway, I'm looking at this thing. I'm going, what the heck? The tires are blue. Exact same thing. Pull the wheels off. W spray a microfiber with WD-40. It, it just absorbs it. It's like I'm pouring water on a sponge. But it knocks that, that blue out. But I'm going, why are these, you know, the KM3s turning blue like this? I remember one thing. These are the only two tires I used because it does such a good job and it makes the tires like black and it makes them kind of sticky is I, I washed them with a um, simple green because it cuts that dirt and it does a great job of taking all the dirt off and the tires are nice and black. Well, I think the simple green's a little, maybe I need to highly dilute the simple green because I, I think it literally dried them out. And that's what turned them blue. So same thing, this one absorbed WD-40. Just like I say, it just like literally spraying water on a sponge. It just, phew, it was gone. But it left them black. I mean, I don't know how white balance of the camera does whatever. It's just an auto. It's just going to do what it's going to do. But because uh, <laughs> if you watch the videos on the Marksman, she's got that sound. Uh, oddly enough, you know, some of the, you know the the more influencer RC guy car guys. These guys that I mean, literally, yeah, they they they've, they're doing YouTube. I mean, they're making so much money doing RC car stuff that uh, yeah, they're they're set for life. Probably making more money than they ever had in their entire life, and that's their job, doing YouTube videos for RC cars. That's crazy. 
but uh, you know these guys got that kind of personality and real techy guys you know you know you you can tell when you watch those guys guys that do really good you know they got that kind of a personality and just do well you know not that I don't get along with others I get along with everybody but I just don't have that that bubbly salesman kind of a personality some of them don't they but they're definitely selling stuff you know you can tell but uh, and then some of them are really cool there's a couple of guys that I watch that even though you know they're very very large YouTube channels and you know making great money they uh they're they're pretty shooting from the hip if it's bad as they say it but anyway I'm getting lord I can just divert but um anyway several people have said well the gen 9 is so much quieter than the than the um the marksman the tc8 marksman is so much quieter than the gen 8 and the gen 9 and um anyway uh, from what i hear on the videos it's actually quite a bit louder but i get they said under power it makes makes more noise but uh when i was holding them up and just you know held it wide open it, it, whoosh, it is it's quieter this thing just makes noise all the time but that's just what they do good lord I can rattle on about nothing quicker than anybody you know. Hey, Magoo. What's up? He was so excited when I got home. That was crazy. Back to a good old scale crawler. It's big, it's heavy, and in the case of this, it makes noise. But I don't care. So I guess they, uh, that underdrive for the marksman is uh is the underdrive kit for for this gen 8 and i think it fits the gen 9 too i thought all those things were different yeah, she's a noisy son of a gun you can always tell tell when there's a red cat in the crowd <laughs> that's all right you know, like I say before, you know, you ride along, that's just the sound they make. That's just a characteristic of that vehicle. Accept it for what it is. With the very scale, I love that. Gent <laughs> look, at, look at that rear suspension unload. Isn't that crazy? Infusion Pros. It's funny how many... People have switched those Fusion Pros and even the Fusion SEs as well. But a lot of people, some of them start out with the with the Fusion SE because they're way more budget minded, and um, and then they they eventually try a Pro and oh, they're done there. Once you go Pro, you never go back. It's almost twice the money, but um. Probably not twice the performance, but it's so much better. It's it's worth the extra cost. Those dills still do have a little bit of a blue hinge to them, the tinge or hue or whatever you want to call it to them. Yeah, the the rear that thing hangs off by a mile. That big old bumper and and um. It's got the trailer hitch. Well, the trailer hitch is actually, yeah, it's in the, in the bumper, not below the bumper. Yeah, once I wiped them good enough, they still kind of had that blue look to them. That's all right. We still love you. I watched a, a video yesterday or last night or whatever it was. It was a, um, two guys, one with a, with not a, a it was a Gen 8. I think that what that was referred to as the Scout 2 or something. Not the V2. But um anyway, it was an older one, the the kind of maroon because this the gen, the V2 that you got the green or the purple. But um I forget what the color was now. Kind of an orangish color, I think it was, or rust color. But anyway, those guys are bombing around through looks like they were Probably in the south around, you know, Tennessee or whatever, them wonderful rocky um, streams that roll through. 
and none of them are deep enough you know you can just go driving through those things with the rc car i mean everything's gonna get wet but those guys are having a ball it's amazing how many people still have well you can still buy this thing i think you can you know what i i was looking at their site because you know their their advertisement for the uh the marksman and some other things being on sale is that they're making room for new stuff. So, I mean, they've been doing that ascent. I mean, they're just knocking it out of the park with, with some of these things here lately. And I'm sure they got more irons in the fire. And the ones that aren't selling well, the marksman just took off like crazy to begin with. And it was kind of like the Gen 9. You know, the Gen 9, that older what they call it, the C800 or 800C, whatever, that older body style of the of the International Scout. I just didn't appeal to people. Lovely, that thing's fantastic. I just, it just performs so well. And it's so scale looking and it's, and it's, well, so does the Gen 8 too. But they do have have that sound the gen 9 is definitely quieter than this one it took a while though i don't know why they just maybe they're just made too tight i took the gen 9 apart and cleaned and greased everything to you know try to quiet it down and you know while the grease was you know still hadn't like dispersed and set to the side as as it does you know over time it was it was really quiet for a while. <laughs> My rear end, she just hits everything. What a good looking rig. Crazy green color, but it's just very pleasing. I just remember those Scout 2s going around. And the guy that worked at the store that had that orange one, he did sell it. It had that Nissan diesel that was in it that International Harvester was using. I guess it was just bulletproof, that engine, but yep, it's gone. He sold it. Well, I think on that, I'm going to piddle with this thing, play a little bit more, and I'm going to roll in and, and work on my box. All I did was clean it up. You know how the stuff in Home Depot is? It's dusty. <laughs> And then it has the, all the labels, pardon me, the labels on it. So I cleaned all that up. So I'm a, while Kelly's doing some of her craft stuff, I'm going to organize my, uh, my, uh, my box. So I got all my RC car stuff in here. That's going to be really nice. You roll it around, take it to events if you're doing that, and it'll just be nice, nice and organized and out of Kelly's way. So we're going to roll on that. Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> so I'm still organizing. Mama's still crafting. and uh, But we're looking out going, you know what? It ain't dark yet. It's not raining at the moment. Good let's, time. Let's bust out a goodbye. Oh, and the, going back and forth from Home Depot, it's much higher elevation, everything. All the fields. I didn't even tell you. All the fields and everything, all nice and white. And oh, man. Had a very christmas Eve festive feeling to the fireplaces you know to see the smoke coming out of them people got their hot stoves going and oh, yeah. i was like wow kelly should have came because that I was know. very very cozy Aww. nice and warm in the car and, <laughs> <laughs> yep. and your mind Even goes here it's cold yeah your mind goes wandering mm -hmm. but uh anyway i think that'll conclude a weekend though all righty well thank you guys so much for watching we really do appreciate it we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time same smoke channel don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you guys have an awesome monday or tuesday heck yeah all right we'll see you in the morning we'll see you then thanks for watching now <laughs> bye bye